Yes. yes. We're here at the Lynx training in Minnesota and it's really cool. The facility's awesome. It was so fun to meet all the women and they have a game tomorrow so we might stop by there. Um, but basically we're just shooting around and having fun and it was awesome. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna try to come tomorrow. Good luck, right. yeah. See Later, guys. As, as fatigued as these players are right now, that's why I love having these crowds because it, the, the energy that you, you get from that is, um, is helpful at this point where they are in the season. Who's yelling that? You? People playing here in this uh, amazing stadium. It looks pretty spectacular. Um, another sellout, right, I believe here? So yeah, it just goes to show you how far this team has come and the inspiration that we are to so many people out there. I know, like, people always say that it looks so intense, and it is, but we're just so used to it. No, no, no. Round. That part not so much. Nice to meet you guys. Dude, we're doing all right. It's time to jump top, top, top of the table. They're tall. Oh, so have you guys always been that tall? It's going to be fun playing in front of that solo out crowd. Tony DeChico's record of 105 wins as the U.S. coach should the U.S. prevail tonight. Not really cleared properly, fantastic save from the goalkeeper there to deny Carly Lloyd will best score this time and does. Continues her hot scoring streak. Lloyd, he goes down and happens inside the box, yeah, penalty. Carly Lloyd, greedy for another goal and gets it. Perfect penalty. Yeah. The US corner, Lindsay Horan scores. 3-0. That is 
the final whistle, and Jill Ellis has equaled Tony DiCicco's record of 105 wins as coach of the U.S. women's team.